A complete list of the contributions of Betty Holberton during her 40-year career in computing would keep us here for quite a while. So I will only share with you the highlights. After programming the ENIAC, Betty joined the company founded by Eckert and Mockley and worked on the first commercial computers. She wrote the C10 instruction code for the UNIVAC-1, forever making programming easier and faster for programmers. She designed the control console for UNIVAC-1 and its computer keyboards and numeric keypad. In 1952, she designed the first sort merge generator for UNIVAC-1. She served on the COBOL committee to design the first business language to operate across computer platforms, wrote standards for Fortran, and served on national and international computer standards committees for decades. We are very proud to induct Betty Holburton to the Witte Hall of Fame for her outstanding contributions to the advancement of science and technology. Betty Jane stole my thunder. I wanted to congratulate uh, Kevin Kleinman because he's done so much. We would just be a footnote to history without her help. And I do appreciate it so much. I think you should. the day of a demonstration. That, I'll never forget. That was my pro first programming era. <laughs> <laughs> How could you forget that? In front of all those people and the newsprint. <laughs> well, anyway, that was a wonderful day because at eight, eight, quarter of eight in the morning, we came to work at per usual and to try to find what I had done wrong in the, in the program. There was nothing wrong with the answers. It all was in involved in what was printed out. And we worked uh, uh, very hard to find out what it was and couldn't find it. Finally, nine o'clock, in walks uh, Joe Chedeker, who took care of the wiring of the machine, and, and the Dean Pender, who was Dean of the Moore School, with a bag in their hand. The first thing you know, we just had some pleasantries to say back and forth, and he finally did say, just before he left, go to it and hand that paper bag to us on our desk. When we opened it, we found a, a fifth of liquor, and, <laughs> <laughs> and neither one of us drank at that time. <laughs> and we had a good laugh at that one. Well, come 11 o'clock when the demonstration was take place, I hadn't found it liquor at all. And it preyed on my mind so that um, well, there was just one man looked up and he says, why in the world are you printing uh, 0 0.8, 1 0.8, 2.8? .8? <laughs> .8? I said, well, that's the way it was programmed. I didn't tell him unintentionally. <laughs> 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 but I was truthful. <laughs> finally, uh, that was on a Thursday, and finally Friday night, it must have been getting to me because in the middle of the night, I dreamt there must have been a switch set. And so at six o'clock on, on Saturday morning, I came into work and I looked to see what would happen. And sure enough, one switch was one too short. I had forgotten to count zero as a number. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my first do loop error. <laughs> I would also like to tell uh, the IBM representative that in, in 1950, somehow you were uh, involved in the, in the fourth demonstration, I mean, the fourth uh, meeting of the Association of, of Computers. And I had just gotten married, <laughs> I had been on a honeymoon in Canada. 
And when I got back and the next morning, we found that, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Eckert, Wallace Eckert had paid my bill. Well, Wallace Eckert at that time was head of the Watson Laboratory at IBM, and I worked for Remington Rand, <laughs> their competitor. Well, that created a problem, so I had to deny that. But I was so happy to accept your hospitality tonight. I'm no longer connected with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to recognize a spon all the sponsors of this organization, because we didn't have a thing like that 50 years ago, and we would sure use it. Like, <laughs> I, I think that all of you women will be successful if, to, if you can be, put people like that behind you. You just need it. And I am so proud of those people who recognize women. Congratulations. You're an inspiration to all of us. Yeah.